So we're being in front of the camera for the first time. Here we go. And action. Hi, I'm Samuel Dweck. I'm a music video director. I've directed videos for people like Little Mix and David Guetta. Thinking about where my influences came from when I was growing up, I'm really not one of those film directors who says, I came out of the womb holding a film camera and that was my destiny. For as long as I could remember, I always wanted to be an architect and that's the career that I pursued. I, I planned my A-levels, my GCSEs around becoming an architect. And it wasn't until I was practicing architecture after, I was, after I'd studied it that I realised it wasn't for me at all. All I knew is I didn't want to do architecture. So when I went to my masters and started making films as a method of research, little documentaries about gay bars closing down, that was when I found something I loved. And it was like this revelation moment where I was like, oh my God, I really love making films. Obviously my family were not happy about me giving up seven years of higher education to pursue filmmaking. But, you know, my parents have always been supportive of my decisions, even if they didn't agree with them. Being a music video director means carrying out a creative vision from beginning to end. It means speaking to every single department, every single person involved, from the crew, to the artists, to the label, bringing them all together under a creative vision and delivering on a concept that you've come up with. I started like every director. I started at the bottom with really small budget music videos and slowly worked my way up. And how I got Little Mix was through, like any other music video, commissioners who represent labels, they send tracks out to director's agents and reps. So it got sent to my agent who works for the production company and she sent me Little Mix. It was a big jump. It was a big jump for me because they are by far the biggest artists I've ever worked with. People often ask me what advice I would give them to get into film, and I always say the same thing, which is just start making. It's kind of a chicken and egg scenario. You need to have films in order to be able to make films, but in order to be able to make films, you need to have films. So just start making something, whatever it is, with friends, on your iPhone, with a DSLR, just start making because it's how you learn and it's how you make the mistakes that I made and never make them again.